Rock pooling is a great way to explore and find coastal creatures that you might not otherwise encounter. And in the UK, we have lots of small fish that call these habitats home. So today, let's look at five of them. Starting off with the shanny. Shannies are a kind of blenny, and the most common species being found pretty much all around the UK's coastline. They're like rocky areas and often found in harbours hiding in the cracks of walls. It's a small, elongated fish with a large head and big eyes, earning it the name sea frog, as they resemble their land cousins. They have the rare ability to stay out of the water when the tide goes down, as long as they're moist, which helps them find places other fish wouldn't be able to hide. They're variable in colour, normally brown or beige with darker blotches. Males are almost black during the breeding season in the summer. They use this mottled coloration to hide from predators and sneak up on prey like shrimp, limpets and small fish. Males will guard the eggs to protect them from predators and can reach a length of 15 centimetres. Next up is a real Cornish giant. The giant goby. Britain's largest goby and a protected species, it spends most of its time hiding in crevices and under rocks. It's thought that females can lay up to 12,000 eggs in small nests which males will then guard alternatively. Giant gobies can change colour depending on mood and surroundings. Currently it's found only in the southwest of England, but with warming seas it could expand to new areas. Adults can reach a length of 27 centimetres, and although looking like many other gobies, have a salt and pepper speckled coloration with small and well spaced eyes. It also has dark blotches appearing along the midline of the body. It feeds on a wide range of prey, and anything that moves is fair game, like stranded fish, crabs and shrimps. Further south in the Mediterranean, it's very common, and is thought to have crossed into the Red Sea via the Suez Canal. Our next species is the butterfish. The butterfish is a slim, eel-like fish often found hiding in rock pools, weeds and the seabed. The mouth is small and upturned. Colour is usually mottled brown to tan, although can be reddish. It has a single long dorsal fin which runs along the whole length of the body, and there's a small, almost circular tail fin. They have a series of black spots circled in white running along the top of the body, bottom of the dorsal fin, and a black line running down from the eye to the edge of the mouth. They feed on anything they can find, including small crustaceans, mollusks and fish eggs. The name comes from them being very slippery like butter, although they can be found all over the UK, are more common further north. Number four is a really weird fish. The Cornish sucker, or clingfish, is one of many species found in the UK. It's a small fish with a rounded snout and a flattened body, less than seven centimeters in length. The name comes from its range being fairly common, but it's not exclusive to Cornwall, and the fact that it has a large sucker on its belly to stick to rocks. Behind the nostrils, it's topped by an odd tentacle. They feed on small bits of detritus in rock pools, hoovering them up with its beak-like mouth. They have a purple hint to the skin, and they tend to be found further down the tide line, so best looking for them at the limit of the shoreline. Lastly, it's the scorpion fish. There are two species of scorpion fish in the UK, the long-spined and the short-spined. The long spine is more likely to be seen in rock pools, and this colourful fish gets its name from the long spines attached to various parts of the body. This fish has amazing mottled coloration, and can change its coloration to blend in perfectly with its background. A top predator, it gulps up crabs and fish with its huge mouth. Up to 20 centimetres in length, they skulk around on the bottom looking for prey. Although quite spiky, it's not venomous, so is safe to handle. This broad little fish is common in most of the UK's shallow seas. And that's our list of five British rock pool fish that you might encounter. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, The Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.